And thanks for joining us. President Trump will visit Janesville tomorrow holding a public rally at the Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport. Despite some being excited for the chance to see the president, others are concerned it could endanger public health. Here's Adam Duxter. In less than 24 hours time, President Trump will be right here in Janesville. And while coronavirus cases in Rock County surge, many are asking him not to come. But his supporters say today they're not worried and they're excited to hear him speak. I'm hoping to make three. Melinda Henthorne left work early to come pitch in with a group of about a dozen. We've got pink here, so we're looking for a woman for Trump. Making signs she hope will encourage the president during his trip to Janesville. I was hoping to go see see him and really excited that he is coming tomorrow. You know, a lot of people have been so disrespectful of our president and no matter what, he's the president. Henthorn and other volunteers say Trump has been through a lot this election season. The way that he's handled COVID, the way that he's handled all the um, tough, um, oh gosh, the hearings and the, the false accusations and his, his emotional, mental, physical stamina is amazing. But the coronavirus surge in Wisconsin has many concerned his visit and the crowd it will bring will only make things worse. Prior to this week, Rock County had never seen more than 77 positive cases in a single day. But in the last four days has seen daily totals of 96, 143 and an all-time high 194 cases today, bringing the total of active cases in Rock County to 1174 or one in every 138 people. President Trump's rallies endanger public health and they have become platforms for him to spread medically inaccurate information that puts people's lives at risk right here in Wisconsin. Today, doctors from across the state beg the president not to come. But in my case, we're going to go pink. But those like Melinda say they're glad he is. I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to wash my hands and try to social distance as best as possible. But I'm not going to worry. And today marks two weeks since we first learned the president tested positive for coronavirus, canceling his first planned trip to the city of Janesville. Those in attendance today say they feel honored he's coming back despite that. In Janesville, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Also in attendance at today's event, Republican Representative Amy Loudenbeck, who says she encourages anyone who feels uncomfortable with tomorrow's rally not to go.